Welcome back to Nunung S. Revealer TV, revealing our secrets inside the earth at the universe. If you are new in this channel, please don't forget to support, subscribe, and share. Do you think the Philippines is a really free country? Why does the Philippines have two independence days? Who declared Independence Day in the Philippines? How important is the 1988 Declaration of Independence in the Philippines? Those are just few questions to be answered in this video. Fasten your seatbelt as we ply while answering all questions. If you have questions, suggestions, recommendations, don't forget to write it down in our comment section. Why does the Philippines have two Independence Days? The one celebrated June 12 recognizes the day the island broke free from Spanish rule. However, American forces occupied the Philippines until 1946. Who declared Independence Day in the Philippines? During the Spanish-American War, Filipino rebels led by Emilio Aguinaldo proclaimed the independence of the Philippines after 300 years of Spanish rule. When did the Philippines gain independence from Spain? After the U.S. declared war on Spain, Aguinaldo saw a possibility that the Philippines might achieve its independence. The U.S. hoped instead that Aguinaldo would lend his troops to its effort against Spain. He returned to Manila on May 19, 1898 and declared the Philippine independence on June 12. What is the purpose of Independence Day? Independence Day, also called the 4th of July or July 4th in the United States, the annual celebration of nationhood. It commemorates the passage of the Declaration of Independence by the Continental Congress on July 4, 1776. Independence Day is celebrated on Monday, July 4, 2022 in the United States. What were the main reasons behind the Declaration of Independence in the Philippines? With the government in operation, Aguinaldo thought that it was necessary to declare the independence of the Philippines. He believed that such a move would inspire the people to fight for eagerly against the Spanish or Spaniards at the same time lead the foreign countries to recognize the independence of the country. How long did the Spanish rule in the Philippines? Philippines under Spanish rule from 1571 to 1898 for almost 333 years of slavery. And we all know that after slavery from Spanish, it came the Americans. The period of American colonization of, of the Philippines was 48 years. It began with the cession of the Philippines to the U.S. by the Spain in 1898 and lasted until the U.S. recognition of Philippine independence in 1946. How did the American rule in the Philippines? When the Spanish-American War ended in December 1898, Spain sold the entire Philippine archipelago to the United States for $20 million. The Philippines had acquired a new colonial ruler. The United States had acquired a colony the size of Arizona, located more than 4,000 miles away across the Pacific. When did the American rule start in the Philippines? The United States and the Philippines, 1898 to 1946. Crisis phase, December 10, 1898 to October 31, 1899. The United States governed formally acquired the Philippines from Spain with the signing of the Treaty of Paris on December 10, 1898. The U.S. government declared military rule in the Philippines on December 21, 1898. What did America do to the Philippines? The ensuing Philippine-American War lasted three years 
and resulted in the death of over 4,200 American and over 20,000 Filipino combatants. As many as 200,000 Filipino civilians died from violence, famine, and disease. The decision by U.S. policymakers to annex the Philippines was not without domestic controversy. Why did America invade the Philippines? The American people were given a number of reasons for why the U.S. had to expand. The U.S. had run out of frontier and needed more land. If the U.S. didn't, others would expand into it. It was America's duty to bring its version of civilization to the Filipinos, and that businesses simply needed the markets. In similar to this, Spain had three objectives in its policy toward the Philippines. It's only a colony in Asia. To acquire a share in the spice trade. To develop contacts with China and Japan in order to further Christian missionary efforts there and to convert the Filipinos to Christianity. In similar to Americans, Spanish, how about Japanese people? So why did the Japanese colonize the Philippines? They wanted to gain power over their neighbors and also to oust American and European influences from the region. As our summary for independence, we have three colonizers. First are the Spanish. Second was Americans. And the third was Japanese. Every country that colonized the Philippines have their reasons of colonizing our country. Every country who colonizes the Philippines have different aims. Let's focus in the aims of Spanish. Aims of Spanish colonization. God, the conversion of the natives to Christianity. Gold, accumulation of wealth by finding a new trade route. Look for spices, desire for greater profit. Glory, become the most powerful country in the world. God, Gold and glory. Causes of revolts against Spain. The people's desire to regain their lost freedom and happiness. Spanish oppression. Hated tribute. Forced labor. Religious persecution. Agrarian dispute with the friars who grabbed the lands of the natives. Spanish religious bigotry or because the people in a certain regions of the country wanted to go back to the worship of their ancestral gods. In relation to American causes of uh, revolts, Americans who advocated annexation, events, and a variety of motivation, desire for commercial opportunities in Asia, concern that the Filipinos were incapable of self-rule, and fear that if the United States did not take control of the island, another power such as Germany or Japan might do so. How about Japan? The attack was intended as a preventive action in order to keep the U.S. Pacific fleet from interfering with military actions. Japan was planning in Southeast Asia against the overseas territories of the United States, the United Kingdom, and the Netherlands. Battle of the Philippines Sea Naval uh, Battle of World War II between the Japanese Combined Fleet and the U.S. Fifth Fleet, known as the Greatest Carrier Battle of the War. It accompanied a U.S. landing on Sipan and ended in complete U.S. victory. Our Filipino people fought Spanish rule in the Philippines, and they have many causes and reasons why they revolt against Spain. And one of this will be the most tremendous uh, aspect of this video is the religious persecution. If we go back to the religious revolts of Hermanopoli, of Tamblot, of Tapar, of uh, Egorots in 1601, sa kasalukuyang panahon, isa po itong napakalaking tanong, paano naging malaya ang bansang Pilipinas? Gayong ang mga relihiyon pa rin ng mga dayuhan ang nangingibabaw. Kahit mag-post man po kami sa mga social media at ilantad man namin, ay pilit nilang binubura at tinatago ang katotohanan sa ating mga 
kabatahaan at mga kababayan. Bakit ganito po ang nangyayari? Bakit parang takot na takot ang maraming Pilipino na maglantad ng katotohanan tungkol sa mga relihiyong pamana ng mga dayuhan na siyang bumubulag sa ating mga kabataan upang ang katotohanan ay kanilang hindi makita at maisip at makonclude na katotohanan magpapalaya sa bayan. Para pa po sa marami pang mga revelasyon at mga paglantad, nanyayahan ko po kayo na subaybayan po ninyo, isubscribe po ninyo ang Nonong S. Revealer TV YouTube channel. Thank you at mabuhay!